welcome, welcome, welcome to the Tonight Show. You are here. You made it. I want to say congrats to our good friends Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck who got married over the weekend in Las Vegas. Isn't that great? That's right, they got married at a drive through chapel. <laughs> you know inflation's bad when even those two are like, let's just do it in Vegas, let's just go to Vegas. I don't... The guy who married them was like, wow, you two are the best Ben and J-Lo impersonators I've ever seen. You're really good. Yep, they got married at a drive through chapel, which was a compromise, because Jen wanted to get married at a chapel, and Ben wanted to get married at a Dunkin' Donuts drive through It's like, it's very Boston. It's a Boston thing. Um, I saw that J-Lo is taking Ben's last name and will now go by Jennifer Affleck. That's good. Yeah, because if she went by Jennifer Lopez Affleck, her nickname would be J-Loaf. And you'd... <laughs> Not as cute. Uh, ever since the news came out about Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck's surprise wedding, a lot of people have been saying the whole story reminds them of the plot of a J-Lo movie. I've been saying that all day. Oh, yeah? What's that, Trey? Well, you know, this whole thing is just like that J-Lo movie where, you know, she makes the guy who was holding up that sign, uh, you know, she, she marries him. Oh, yeah, you, you, mean, you mean marry me? No, 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 not, not marry me. The one where she marries the guy who saves her from being crushed by, it was like a runaway dumpster. You mean the, the wedding planner? No, no, no. I, I mean, the one where she, where she falls for the hunky Senate uh, candidate who's staying at the hotel where, where she works. Made in Manhattan? No, 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 no. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about the one where her mother-in-law, she wears the white dress to her wedding instead of the peach-colored one that J-Lo asked her to, so... Yeah, yeah well, monster-in-law. Jimmy, have you ever even seen a J-Lo movie? <laughs> But it's the one where she and her friends, they commit credit fraud, uh, you know, in fur coats. Hustlers. No, 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 not hustlers, no. Uh, the one where, you know, she's a real estate agent, and then she figures out that Jason Statham is a, is a jewel thief. Parker? Come on, man, you know the one. Look, like, she's a female saber-toothed tiger forced to join a band of pirates. Ice Age Continental Drift? No. No. The one where her new student becomes obsessed with her, and then they have that big showdown in the, in the barn. The boy next door. <laughs> Jimmy, look, it's the one where she uses VR to travel inside the mind of a psychopath in order to save his latest victim. The, the cell? No! <laughs> the one where she teams up with Ice Cube, you know, to, to fight an anaconda. Anaconda? Yeah, anaconda, that's it. <laughs> How does the surprise wedding in Las Vegas remind you of Anaconda? Well, was John Voight there? No. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Let's get to some news. On Friday, President Biden held a controversial meeting with the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia. But the real controversy was that Biden greeted him with a fist bump. Watch this, watch this. Yeah. Biden said that wasn't a fist bump, that was me trying to punch him as hard as I could. <laughs> Hadouken! <laughs> Not a great look, it's like uh, greeting Putin with a chest bump and a bro hug. My man, what are you doing? <laughs> Meanwhile, I read that Dr. Fauci said that he plans to retire by the end of President Biden's term. Yeah, then everyone turned to Biden like, is there anything you'd like to announce, too? <laughs> of course, once he's gone, Fauci will be replaced by a new, slightly weaker variant. Oh. <laughs> Guys, listen to this. According to a recent study, COVID can live on frozen meat for more than a month. I feel bad for the scientists who spent a month rubbing nasal swabs on frozen meat. But... <laughs> Seriously, you know, we're living through fun times when you're giving your sausage a PCR test, you know? Um... <laughs> Saucy. Oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, Arby's was like, this doesn't apply to us because our meat is stored at room temperature. <laughs> Some business news. Uh, there's a new lawsuit against Skittles that claims that they contain a, a, a known toxin called titanium dioxide. Well, Skittles wants to assure people that their candy is safe and toxin-free, but I think their new ad went a little too far. Watch this. 
Here at Skittles, we want to set the record straight. We don't use harmful toxins because all of our candy is 100% organic. Each and every Skittle is locally grown, free range, and grass fed. Then, of course, all Skittles are humanely slaughtered. Skittles, tell them old farmer Skitty sent you. Uh, farmer Skitty. <laughs> well, this is cool. Uh, are you guys fans of the game Wordle? You ever play Wordle? Well, I saw that Hasbro and the New York Times are creating a new Wordle board game. Ooh. It's called Wordle the Party Game. Oh. Uh, we actually I got a sneak peek of the instructions. Take a look at this. Step one, throw a party. <laughs> Step two, say, hey, anyone want to play the new Wordle board game? <laughs> Step three, wait, you all have to leave? <laughs> and finally, step four, clean up and play Wordle alone on your phone. <laughs> hey guys, I heard that 7 Eleven gave seven years of free coffee to the parents of a baby born in one of their parking lots in West Virginia. <laughs> and now the baby is one week old, uh, just like the hot dogs. Oh. Well, let's get to some good news today. Gas prices in the U.S. hit a two month low, coming in just under $4.50. That story again, gas prices are still high. <laughs> yep, gas prices are on the way down. This morning, a White House aide said, good news, Mr. President, and Biden was like, is today April 1st? <laughs> of course, Biden can't catch a break. Gas prices are finally down, but thanks to the heat, Gatorade is now seven bucks a gallon. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but it is hot. It is hot. Not just here in the U.S., but there are record high temperatures all across the world. Seriously, it's so hot, people on TikTok were slapping each other with tortillas just for the breeze. Why? <laughs> it's so hot right now, the fantasy suite on the bachelorette is just the back of an ice cream truck. Hey! Oh, hey oh. Mr. Softy! Yeah, yeah, that's... It is so hot, people are ordering Chipotle just so the E. coli can give them the chills. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> people are doing this because that's how hot it is. All across Europe, the heat is brutal. Today actually was the hottest day in the history of the UK at 40 degrees Celsius. Yeah, Americans heard that and were like, yeah, we have no idea what that means. <laughs> is that hot? Is that hot? Yep, the heat has been breaking records around the world and we're all trying to beat the... Uh... Oh, what, what, what is that? See my contract. <laughs> it gets above 95. I get missed it. Oh, really? I want to call you a loser, but you should get a better agent. Wow. Oh, uh, oh now. <laughs> wow, you got it. <laughs> Why, yeah. That feel good? Yeah. That feel good? Yeah. Now I'm cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely cool, buddy. Oh, man. You're definitely cool. I'm blind. Yeah. <laughs> Some TV news, The Bachelorette is in full swing, and if you, yeah. Oh, it's good. If you didn't, if you don't know, now you know. This season, there are not one, but two Bachelorettes. It might sound weird to, uh, to date two girls at once, but remember, it is a show about dating 32 guys at once. So just remember. <laughs> so as of last night, they're down to 21 guys. Yeah, and I gotta say, my favorite remaining contestants are Jacob, James, Jason, Johnny, and Jordan. <laughs> I just... One more time. That's James, Jacob, Johnny, Jason, and Jordan. <laughs> Again, that's Jamie, Jamie, Jeremiah, Jamarcus, and Jordan. <laughs> and just so we're clear, that's Jibbly, Jobbly, Jazobbly, Bababbly, and Jordan. And finally, one last time, that's Ja, 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 and I forget this guy's name. <laughs> last night's episode was, was pretty dramatic. In, in case you missed it, here's a reenactment with actual words from the actual show starring me, Tariq, and Questlove. Guys? Thanks, Jimmy. 
I'll be playing Chris, a contestant with nefarious intentions. And I'll be playing Quincy, who's about to confront Chris. I'll be playing Jordan H. All right, let's get ready. My personal perspective is that if you're in a situation where there's four people, they're invited to this fantasy suite, and then the female in the situation has sex with someone else, then I wouldn't be interested in that person being the person I'm with. Would you vocalize that to them before fantasy suites or during fantasy suites or after fantasy suites? Good question. Well, well, it would be dependent on the situation. Well, you wouldn't know the situation. Listen, listen. You wouldn't know the situation. Gosh darn it, I did not say that. Like, like, did I did, did not. not. Did he not, did he not, did he not? Look, did he not, look, did he look, not, look. did he not, did he, did he not, did he not? Did he not? Did he not? Did he not? Look, you're trying to control it, though. <laughs> Look, I've let you speak, and I let him speak. I'm just saying, the way you're saying it is still rubbing us the wrong way. <laughs> it's, 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 it's rubbing you wrong? Rubbing you wrong? Oh, my God. Drink, everyone. Thank you. No. Thank you. Switching gears. Switching gears. I read that over the very nice. Uh, I read that over the next few months, uh, the Toys R Us Toys R Us will open inside every Macy's store across the country. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. They they've combined a department store with a toy store, or as I like to call it, a Target. <laughs> well, get this. Apparently, due to inflation, I don't know if you guys heard this. Consumers. I didn't hear. Are, you, consumers are cutting back on chocolate purchases. What? Yeah, well, I guess now it explains the new Whitman sampler commercial I just saw. Check this out. At times like these, you need chocolate you can't resist, which is why we're releasing our brand new Whitman sampler, no bull without all that unnecessary crap everyone hates. So say goodbye to cherry cordials that taste like fruit dipped in your grandmother's perfume, or coconut chews that leak out a weird milky goo. And let's be straight up, no one likes nougat. Whitman sampler, no bull You want bull Call Russell Stover. I mean, that's... that's can you believe I saw that? Come on. Indeed. Hey, uh, guys, I saw that today former New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio dropped out of the race for Congress. Oh. Yeah. He... <laughs> the hardest part was breaking the news to his supporter. <laughs> you guys see this? A man in Wisconsin tried to use a brick to rob a K Jewelers. Did you see this? It's... But it did not go as planned. Uh, take a look at this. After a few minutes, even the security guard was like, uh, here, let me try it. <laughs> guys, the big story right now, obviously, is the heat. Uh, as temperatures continue to reach record highs across the world. It's, it's the type of heat where you get into an Uber and you can see the sweat outline of the passenger before you. <laughs> Seriously, you can't mess around in this weather. If you see someone who's delirious and slurring their words, they either have heat stroke or they're Rudy Giuliani. So just be careful. <laughs> Be careful. Yeah, it's so hot right now, we actually changed our audience load-in policy to make everyone more comfortable. Take a look at this. Mask on, pants off. Thank you. Mask on, pants off. Mask on, pants off. Mask on, pants off. That's right. Mask on. That's right. Our, our audience is completely pantless tonight. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. What? Yep. Absolutely. You're allowed to. Yep. It was 95 degrees here in New York today. Yeah, with temperatures spiking all over the world, I saw a pretty interesting new ad on TV. Look at this. 
When you need to stay dry and smelling fresh, Tom's of Maine natural deodorant is aluminum free, soft on skin, and totally un repaired for this hell on earth heat wave. Tom's of Maine natural deodorant, you're better off eating it. Now go get some speed stick. Better off eating it. <laughs> that was from Tom. Wow, that's from Tom. Better off Tom. eating it. Yeah. Grab a bite. Yeah, meanwhile. Dip it in ranch. Uh, <laughs> Meanwhile, today, President Biden announced new executive actions to address the climate crisis. Phew, just in time. Uh, <laughs> it's 115 degrees outside. Uh, unfortunately, Biden's speech was cut short when the teleprompter burst into flames. <laughs> uh, seriously, even the climate change deniers were like, do you mind if we protest inside? It's hot as hell out here. <laughs> Switching gears, uh, I read that the Kremlin is trying to lure Russians away from YouTube and onto an alternative Russian site called RuTube. <laughs> Yeah, Rootube. Yeah, is it me or does it sound like uh, Scooby Doo saying YouTube? It's like, <laughs> wreck out my Rootube. <laughs> Zoinks. That's right, Russian YouTube. It's just like regular YouTube, except the videos posted of you weren't taken by you. Yeah. In Russia, uh, in Russia, like button smashes you. Uh, and that's not the only Russian social media site. Uh, there's also a Russian version of Facebook. Uh, it's called Facebook. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, meanwhile, I saw that Vladimir Putin just met with the president of Turkey, and people are talking about how Putin had to wait by himself for a long time. Watch this. It's... So far, that's the only video on RuTube. Really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, some COVID news. I heard that a new variant has been detected, and it's called Centaurus. Yeah, well, my first car in high school was a Centaurus. <laughs> that's right, Centaurus. Apparently, it's got the head of a bat and the body of a horse. <laughs> At least with this variant, taking horse dewormer makes a little more sense. Yeah. I get this, guys. Apple has agreed to pay $50 million in a class action lawsuit over their faulty keyboards with sticky keys. Yeah, those Apple customers are pretty happy. They released a statement about their win. They said, we are overjoyed at the outcome. <laughs> this has been a long journey, and we glad to see Johnson's prevail. We'd like to thank our dedicated layers, and, and then just keep, <laughs> goes off from there. Uh, well, guys, everyone's talking about this. On, on a farm in Florida, there's an emu named Emmanuel that's going viral for interrupting TikToks. If you haven't seen him, he's cute. Here he is. This is a Emmanuel, do not do it. Emmanuel, don't do it. Emmanuel, don't do it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like she starts smiling too. She's yeah. like, Emmanuel, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, this emu is everywhere. I mean, uh, he's all over the place. I mean, check out what happened during one of Biden's recent speaches. I don't... It's an honor to once again stand with uh, friends. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, do not do it. Emmanuel, don't do it, Jack. Come on, man. Wow. Don't do it, Jack. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this, guys. A mother in Mississippi is claiming that her daughter found a cigarette in her Burger King chicken fries. Here's a photo. Look at this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Burger King was like, yeah, that sounds like something we do. <laughs> Nutritionally speaking, a Burger King chicken fry and a cigarette are about the same. <laughs> the manager tried to spin it. He was like, that's just the toy. <laughs> and finally, a man in Virginia said that he's going to eat only Taco Bell for 30 days to see if their food can make you healthier. Taco Bell is so excited. They're like, he called us food. <laughs> Yeah, Taco Bell for 30 days. Here's a prediction. By day two, it's going to be a nightmare south of the border. <laughs> it is scorching hot outside today. Yeah, and it's even hotter in, uh, in here because Ryan Gosling is my guest tonight. Oh! I'm so excited that Ryan's here. I just hope that we can patch up our friendship after he stole my look. Uh, I was just... Yeah, Ryan's here to talk about his new movie, The Gray Man, which uh, comes out at Netflix at midnight tonight on Netflix. Yeah. The movie also stars uh, Reggae John Page Ooh. and Chris Evans. Ooh. 
So if you have plans with your girlfriend this weekend, you don't. <laughs> well, the big news is still the extreme heat that continues to slam millions of people across the world. I mean, it is so hot outside. This is crazy. You're not going to believe this, but everything in Times Square is melted except the M&M store. <laughs> Until one person puts it in their mouth, then wow. it's all over. Not in their hand. Yeah, it is brutally hot out there. Apparently, we added a new season. Now there's fall, winter, spring, summer, and air fryer. <laughs> I wish I could say the heat is going to ease up, but the weekend forecast looks even worse. Check this out. On Friday, they're saying it's going to be 97 degrees. Saturday, over 100. <laughs> And on Sunday, it's just a picture of the sun giving the Oh, fire. my God. It's just not it's not, double bird. It's, not, it's a oh double bird. Wow. Yeah, the country is dealing with record-breaking temperatures. I saw that the local news did a helpful story about ways to beat the heat. Listen to this. And with the city under a heat alert, experts are urging people to keep safe. Yeah, we've got some tips to help you stay cool on hot days like today. If you can, you should avoid the outdoors from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., stay hydrated, put ice cubes on your nipples, limit the use of your oven, yell nothing when your wife walks in and says, what are you doing with those ice cubes? Frantically pop the ice cubes in your mouth and say, I have to go do our taxes. And finally, turn on the AC if you got one. Yeah, see, that's a good tip right there. Switching gears, everyone's talking about this. Today, the White House announced that President Biden has a mild case of COVID. Ooh. On the bright side, it's the first positive news Biden's gotten in months. <laughs> hey, I read that uh, tomorrow, former President Trump and Mike Pence are holding dueling campaign events in Arizona for rival governor candidates. Ooh. Ooh. But this is sweet. After his rally, Trump's going to direct his supporters to Pence's. That's right, Trump and Pence are together again. It's why Arizona just changed their state motto to awkward. <laughs> well, get this, everybody. United Airlines is partnering with a company called Boom, which is making supersonic jets that travel twice as fast as regular planes. Ooh. Passengers were like, do you really expect us to board a plane called Boom? <laughs> B Boom? It's like having your house built by a company named Kindling. Some more business news. I heard that uh, DoorDash is now requiring their drivers who deliver alcohol to check customers' IDs in person. Mm. Yep, that'll work just as well as bartenders checking vaccine cards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's good. Yeah, come on in. <laughs> yeah, they're going to check IDs the same way cashiers verify the signature on the back of your credit card. So, you... <laughs> yeah, you're Tom... <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Some entertainment news. Uh, Shark Week officially kicks off this Sunday. <laughs> seeing ads all over the place. Okay. I'm seeing promos. I mean, if you haven't seen it, uh, they just released a new promo. Watch this. Shark Week is back. All the great whites, all the attacks, and all the exact same content we've been airing for over 30 years, and nobody's noticed. Shark Week. If you get into whales, let us know. Yeah, it's interesting, right? Uh, well, listen to this. A new poll found that 70% of Americans remain loyal to the brands they used when they were growing up. Yeah. That's why every night for dinner I have a jar of Gerber. <laughs> <laughs> every Kardashian is like, it's true, when I was a baby I wore Prada and I still wear Prada. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Emmanuel? Emmanuel? No. Emmanuel? Emmanuel? No. No! You're being a menace. Emmanuel, don't do it! Emmanuel, don't do it. Can, oh, she's not listening. Can I get someone here to help me? Uh, oh, my God. Thank you. Taylor Blake. It's Taylor. Taylor Blake. So nice to see you. Thank you. I, can, Taylor, can, can you help me out, please? I, I can try. Yeah. Emmanuel, no. Yeah. Don't do it. Emmanuel, do not. Emmanuel, do not do it. Emmanuel, no. Emmanuel Todd Lopez, no. <laughs> Emmanuel, don't do it. Oh, oh, no, not you too, Jimmy. Jimmy, don't do it. Jimmy, Jimmy, no. Jimmy, do not do it. Jimmy, Jimmy, choose comedy. Choose joy, Jimmy. James Thomas Fallon Jr., don't you do it. Do not do it, Jimmy. You're, you're here to tell jokes, Jimmy. You're here to tell jokes. Don't do it. Jim You go ahead. Choose love. Okay, good. Thank you very much. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Come on. Helen Blake. Helen Blake, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> <coughs> 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 uh, finally, you guys, Beyonce just revealed the track list for her new album, Renaissance. So with that in mind, it's time to play Guess the Beyonce Song. Here we go. Guess the Beyonce Song. Guess the Beyonce Song. Now, here's how this works. I'm going to give someone three different song titles. One is real, uh, the real Beyonce song. The other two are made up. You have to guess which one is real. If you get it right, you get a prize. If you get it wrong, you still get a prize. Okay, uh, raise your hand if you want to play Guess the Beyonce song. No one on this side. Okay, uh, yeah, right there. You go. Hello, what, what is your name? Deegan. Deegan, uh, 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 where are you from? New York. <laughs> Deegan. Which one of these is a real Beyonce song from her new album, Renaissance? Is it A, Robot Diva, B, Alien Superstar, or C, Monster Influencer? Mm. <laughs> I want to say A, Robot Diva. That is incorrect. It is not Robot Diva. The, the real answer is Alien Superstar, but you get this very special Robot Diva sweatshirt that uh, we made right there. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. All right, let's do one more. Who else wants to do one? Can you get over here? Can, well, can, you, get, can you get over here? Yeah, here you go. Hello, what is your name? Where are you from? Hi, I'm Anna Kate. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta! Hey, we love Atlanta. Hi, everyone in Atlanta. All right, which one of these is a real Beyonce song? Is it A, Slick Chick? Is it B, Quicky Quick, Ticky Tocky? Or is it C, Thick? Oh, I'm going to have to go with C, Thick. That is the correct answer! You get a quickie, quick, ticky, tucky sweatshirt. Thank you for playing Guess the Beyonce song. Hey, hey.